guys, Mr. T Loxify back, and in today's video, I'm coming at you guys with the finale of the modded weapon challenge. As you guys can see, I got the Boreas Fury, I've got the uh, upgraded TMGs. Uh, these weapons are totally modded. I've downloaded a mod for this. This is a PC only mod. Again, as per usual, I think most mods are PC only. Like modding for console is a real pain in the ass. I think so. Like, we have the ASM-1 here. I've upgraded a lot of weapons. Um, I'm not totally sure what other weapons there are that I can try. Um, let's see if we can find more box weapons or find where the actual box location is. Because I have been using the box quite a bit. So, it would be awesome to find it. Okay, it's at the spawn. So, let's try and get there before we actually die. Okay, this is back up here. Let's just go, and I can't use regular weapons. That's another part of this challenge. I can use modern weapons, but not the regular ones. So, that is a really cool thing here, guys. Again, if the mod description thing is down, like, if the mod link is down in the description, there you go. But I'm not totally sure if it is. So, uh, again, like I said, I'm not totally sure because at the time of this upload, I am definitely not actually actively uploading this. Uh, it's probably a month before. Uh, but maybe I should upgrade the... Uh, FMGs, that would be pretty cool. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Oh uh, my god. Oh. Woo! Okay. Okay, let's use the FMG. Get the kills. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna hit up the box. I think if I could get the ray gun, that would be beautiful, but I can't. There's the op again. Uh, I have shown you guys the op. Let's just upgrade the FMG. Um, op is pretty good, like I said, but it the ammo kind of sucks. So, there are some weapons that are overpowered. And there are some that are definitely not overpowered. So that is another thing there. Let's kill all these guys. Uh, that's the foul. Oh. Oh my goodness. Go. Okay. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Okay. Woo. Okay. Uh, we are definitely going to be upgrading the FMG9 for you guys. I want you guys to see uh, what it is upgraded. I think it. Oh my goodness. Did I make it out of that? Like, I was still in shock. <laughs> oh my goodness, no. <laughs> I ain't let you kill me, boy. <laughs> like, <laughs> no. No way. There's no way. That really, that bell sound is just really getting annoying. And you know what? Speaking of bell, that reminds me, <laughs> that reminds me of an anime character. I know you guys are just like, I'm out. See ya. Totally done. But um, I'm not totally sure. One of my favorite anime episodes apparently just ended. Uh, they might not be releasing a season 2, and there's only like 13 episodes, and it's called Don Machi, or is it wrong to try to pick up a girl in a dungeon? It really ended off on a very weird episode, like, uh, the main character is named Belle, which is why I sort of said that, but, um, it ended off on a very strange episode, it didn't feel like an actual finale, like, no, nothing like a Breaking Bad finale or anything, but, um... Yeah, it was really weird. I'm not totally sure what was up with that. So I think there is a season two. Hopefully there is. Hopefully you guys are watching season two. Because I know a lot of my fans actually got into my anime recommendations and stuff. And I think that's honestly the coolest thing in the world. Thank you guys so much for hearing me out. I just think that's so awesome that I have like the potential. Oh god. Uh, I, <laughs> I think that I have the potential to like, tell you guys what cool shows to watch. And you'll, you'll, take, a lo you'll take a look at it. Like... I know most of you won't, but there is that small portion of people that will. And I think you guys are the coolest. Thank you so much for that. And I, I've i been honestly getting a little bit diverted from anime recently. Um, there, obviously because I'm making a shit ton of videos for when I leave. And also, I guess, I don't know. Like, I haven't really found any good ones. So if you guys have any good anime recommendations, like, I still have to watch the classics like Attack on Titan and stuff like that. I know, I know. Uh, but, uh... But still, but still, I want to, like, I always feel like I have a hunger for anime now, like, I, I don't know, because, like, the last good show that I watched that wasn't anime was Orange is the New Black, I know, and some of you guys would be like, yo, what the hell is up with your shows, like, I don't like Game of Thrones, but you like Orange is the New Black, like, what, like, I know, I'm a weird person, I, I completely 100% stand that, understand that, but, um, yeah, like, a lot of people are, one, are wondering, I, th I don't know if I've actually mentioned this, but, uh, I hate The Walking Dead. A lot of people are gonna be like, bruh. But I used to like it back in the day before, uh, spoiler in Season 5, pause the video, skip it like 10 seconds. Uh, uh, when Beth died, 
Uh, after that, I kind of gave up. And here are the FMG9 Kimbo. They're called the freaking miniature guns. But I absolutely hate The Walking Dead now. The plot of the storyline makes no sense. There's no real ending objective, which makes no point for me to watch it, really. So, um, that's my final sort of decision. Uh, there's, uh, Max Ammo there, so let's just throw everything. Uh, that is on... I don't know what's happening there. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. But, yeah, I... I really hate the the storyline like there is a cool one that one of my friends actually suggested me and it's called Z Nation and I watched the first season it did end off very very weirdly uh, really awesome storyline though ingenious writing probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen I really like the series like it's on Netflix if you want to watch a cool zombie series I uh, it's called Z Nation it's beautiful I love it I think it's probably one of the best things out there right now in terms of zombies apparently they're making like a new zombies uh of walking dead in los angeles or something that's what i've been hearing i'm not totally sure if i agree with that kind of sounds like dead island 2 in a way and uh, i will not be playing dead island 2 by the way if any of you guys are wondering uh that i feel that game wasn't successful in the beginning and i'm not totally sure why they're making a second one or just even after riptide so yeah that's a whole thing there and then yeah, that's pretty much it with what I'm saying, guys. Like, uh, honestly, I love the Orange is the New Black. The season three got me rolling and laughter a lot. Like, oh, I love shows that make me laugh. And that's that's a really big positive thing, I guess, because I've been watching a lot of sad anime and stuff. And I, you know what? It's healthy to be like la like laughing and stuff and having uh, just being happy, I guess. So that is definitely one thing that you should take note of if you're taking notes for some reason. <laughs> but, uh... uh <laughs> I don't even know, but yeah, like I was saying, Z Nation, it's great. It's I can give you a little bit of a synopsis about it if you're kind of curious about it. It's about a guy, right? And he's actually been injected with a cure to the virus, but uh, they are trying to actually get him from some sort of east part of US to California. And uh, I think it's just really cool how the plot development actually has an end objective. Like, The Walking Dead's objective is to survive. How boring is that? I do that every day. Like, I don't need to see a series about survival when I do that every day. So, I know it's a little bit different with zombies, but, like, still. Like, I just find it so unoriginal. And I really... I feel like the, the plot of The Walking Dead sort of got worse and worse after Season 1. Especially out of Season 2. Oh my goodness. Probably one of the worst seasons of television I've ever seen in my life. But, oh, disgusting. Like... But I digress. Like, I still like The Walk. I actually, no, I hate The Walking Dead. So never mind that. But yeah, Z Nation is basically about these guys that, like, sacrifice themselves. Not necessarily sacrifice themselves. But just go through this awesome journey of bringing this guy to California. But then, it's a little bit different what happens at California. Again, it's not what you would expect. But it is definitely worth a watch. And I definitely recommend it. It's on Netflix, I've, like I've been saying. Um... I'm gonna buy the spas. Oh, it is the one for Mob of the Two. Mob of the Two. That is a first. Oh, I'm gonna die. I think I lost this spas too. Mob of the Two. Really, that is definitely Modern Warfare Two. Is what I meant to say. Wow. I don't know. I just don't know, guys. Like, oh my God, no. Uh, okay, let's end the round here. Uh, okay. I want to upgrade the spas, see how good it is. It probably sucks ass, and I probably shouldn't be doing this because of... Public speaking is the art uh, what is it? A two idea with what a two is hour I've actually lost what I was going to say, but we got the spas. Oh my goodness, it's got the holographic sight and the silencer. Probably sucks. Just going to say... Oh yeah, I was probably going to say uh, that I needed to buy Jug and everything, but whatever. I digress. I'm probably just going to get enough points for Quick Revive here. I, this thing probably really does suck. I haven't gotten the kill with it based off my points. Oh, there's one kill. Ah, maybe it's not that bad. Does cock back quite slowly. Ah, oh, it's pretty good. For round 31, this is not bad. That damage is pretty damn good, I must say. Um, and in the head, too. Wow. I'm impressed. Good spas. Good spas. Like, a lot of people underestimate shotguns, especially on extra zombies. Like, oh my goodness. But, uh... I should probably get double tap with this thing because you cock it back faster with double tap. Oh my goodness. Don't die. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, with any other gun, it would have been ripped. Um, you know what? Let's just take the elevator up. Go. 
Let's take the elevator up. Let's get quick revive. Let's get double tap. And I guess let's just do a last stand to end off this series. I did hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, hopefully you were able to download it. Hopefully you understand how to do it and stuff. Uh, let's pull this out and just use it here. Uh, I really like this. I'm surprised really that I got to round 32. This bell thing is just really pissing me off though. So, wow. Like, oh god. Okay, here we go. This is it, guys. I'm going to show you the easiest way to kill the doctor. Boom. <laughs> it's still round 32. And this thing is a one freaking hit. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. I love that. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That just makes me happy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um... But uh, let's just probably go into the pack much room while we can. I still have one more life, I guess you could say. Does this thing clip through the wall? I wonder. It probably doesn't. Uh, wait. No, it doesn't. It definitely doesn't. But, uh, or maybe there aren't zombies out there. there probably are. Uh, let's see if we can get back out there. But, yeah, guys. Again, other TV shows that I've been watching, like, I haven't really watched anything from after Breaking Bad. But, um... That's pretty much it. For movies, again, not that much when I think about it. Like, uh, like I just really don't like most movies that are made nowadays. Like, a good example, really, is Fifty Shades of Grey. Like, I watched, um, I watched the film theorists, and my goodness, such a great idea to go from game theorists to film theorists. Wow, great. But anyways, they made, like, a little video about how it was essentially, like, uh, the guy, Christopher Gray. I, I'm really, I feel horrible for actually knowing people's names in that series. But, um, it's like he actually is getting the girl into a cult, and they actually made a theory about that. I was like, holy shit. Like, and he follows these exact steps, like... It's like he's actually trying to get this chick into, like, worshipping him or whatever. Or just being her freaking torture slave. And it's unbelievable. Oh, there I go down again. Yeah, this thing kind of sucks when you upgrade it. But it was mind-boggling. Like, to, and to see that pe that book is sold more than Harry Potter. Not that I have anything, like, that. not that I really like Harry Potter, which I do. But, like... Why is that book, like a book about torture, like number one? I don't know if it's like girls' fetishes or something, but if it is, that's fucking disgusting. Oh my god, like, this world just, uh, just, it kind of creeps me out sometimes, but, um, I'm just gonna throw a monkey bomb here, but yeah, guys, like, it was really, I'm, I want, you know what, I had no idea what it was about. <laughs> So I decided to watch the first 10 minutes of the movie, right? Worst mistake I've ever made in my life. It was so bad. I was like, okay, this, like, first couple minutes, oh, it's not that bad. Like, what could go wrong? This guy's just asking this girl out. But then, nope. <laughs> it was just so funny. Like, oh, you guys should have been there. My reaction was just like, oh, hell no. Like, what the fuck is this shit? Because I was wondering, like, what's the big motion like why do people <laughs> like why are people talking about this and like I, <laughs> I am totally gonna die here but oh i thought i actually was alive there for a second i was like how am i making it out alive there but anyways guys i hope you enjoy this challenge don't watch 50 shades of gray for me trust me it's <laughs> it's not what you expect that i just told you but anyways guys Get the dope you enjoyed. Please make sure to leave a like and see if you did 2,500 likes for the next challenge zombies video, whatever it is. Again, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.